We're still talking about the elimination method, and we are going to solve a system by multiplying and adding. This is lesson 8.4a. In some linear systems, neither variable can be eliminated by adding or subtracting the equations directly. In systems like these, we need to multiply one of the equations by a constant so that adding or subtracting the equations will eliminate one variable. Just as adding or subtracting a number from each side of the equal sign produces the same sum or difference, it will produce the same product when multiplying. Adding the same value to each side of the equal sign will get the same sum, and subtracting the same value from each side of the equal sign will get the same difference, and multiplying the same value to each side will get the same product. We can multiply each term or distribute the constant factor to each term. If we have x plus y is equal to 5, we can multiply each term by 4 to get 4x plus 4y is equal to 20. We can distribute the 4 to the entire equation. 4x plus 4y is equal to 20. So here are the steps to multiply to eliminate. We have our system of equations, and we decide which variable to eliminate. If we eliminate the x variable, we multiply the first equation by 3. That way we'll have 3x here. If we want to eliminate the y, we multiply the first equation by a 2. Then we'll have a negative 2y. We multiply one equation by a constant so that adding or subtracting will eliminate that variable. So I decided to eliminate y by multiplying by 2. I distribute the 2 to the x, the negative y, and the negative 1, and we get 2x minus 2y is equal to negative 2. Now we solve the system by using the elimination method with addition or subtraction. Now that we have opposites, a minus 2y plus 2y, we can use addition to solve this system. Negative 2y and plus 2y are opposites, so we add the equations. That's going to eliminate the y variable term. We add 2x plus 3x and we get 5x. When we add negative 2 to a positive 22, that brings us into the positives to a positive 20. We divide both sides of the equal sign by this coefficient 5, which gives us the same numerator and denominator. So we have 1x, and on this side, 20 divided by 5 is 4. We know x is equal to 4. Now we substitute 4 for x in either original equation. This is the original first equation before we multiplied it by 2. So we have x minus y is equal to negative 1. We substitute 4 for x and we get 4 minus y is equal to negative 1. We can subtract 4 from each side of the equation so that we eliminate this and we get negative y is equal to negative 5. We know that there's an invisible 1 here between the negative sign and the y, so we're going to divide both sides by a negative 1. That's the same numerator and denominator, so we have 1y, and negative 5 divided by negative 1 is a positive 5. Our solution is 4 for x, 5 for y. We can check our solution algebraically by using it in each original equation. And we find negative 1 is equal to negative 1, which is true, and we find 22 is equal to 22, which is true. We can eliminate a variable by multiplying a negative number to one equation of the system. We have our system of equations. We can make the x terms opposites by multiplying the first equation by a negative 3. We have Negative 3 times x is negative 3x. Negative 3 times a positive 4y is a negative 12y. And negative 3 times 16 is a negative 48. Now our system can be added to solve. We have a negative 3x, positive 3x. We have opposite terms to add. We eliminate the x variable term by adding. We have a negative 3x plus 3x makes a zero pair. We've eliminated it. And we have a negative 12y plus 5y gives us a negative 7y. And negative 48 plus 20 is a negative 28. We divide each side by the coefficient negative 7. We have the same numerator and denominator, so that makes 1y. And we divide negative 28 by negative 7. Negative 
divided by a negative makes a positive, we have positive 4. When we substitute 4 for y in either equation, the first equation was x plus 4y is equal to 16. We have x plus 4 times 4 is equal to 16. We subtract 16 from each side of the equation, making a zero pair here, and we have x is equal to zero. We know the solution is zero for x, four for y. To eliminate by addition, we need opposite terms, such as a positive 3x and a negative 3x, or a positive 2y and a negative 2y. By wisely choosing a positive or negative constant, we can multiply one equation to create opposite terms to add. One of the most difficult parts of using the elimination method is knowing what to multiply by. In this system of equations, we have a minus 2y and a plus 4y. If we multiply this first equation by a positive 2, it would make a negative 4y. We could solve it with addition. If we multiply this first equation by a negative 2, it'll make a plus 4y up here to solve with subtraction. And in this system of equations, if we multiply the first equation by a positive 3, that will make a negative 3y to solve with addition. And if we multiply this first equation by a negative 3, that would make this a positive 3y to solve with subtraction. So remember, when we have opposite terms, we solve with addition, and when we have the same terms, we solve with subtraction. It just depends on what your homework or your test has on it, saying solve it with addition, you have to solve this with subtraction, then you'll know if you're going to multiply by a negative or positive constant, depending on which term you're trying to eliminate. We're finished with 8.4a and we're moving on to b, where it's about how to solve a system by multiplying and subtracting. I hope you're doing well, and hit that like button if you understood this, and if you haven't subscribed, please do. I'll see you next video. Bye.